What's up guys, welcome to Echo Productions, I'm Silas Willby, and today we're taking a look at everything that goes into making good b-roll. From camera settings to shooting and editing and everything in between. In today's 100% comprehensive guide to shooting b-roll. And I know I've covered a lot of what I'm going to go over today in previous videos, but today I want to put it all together. So let's take a look at what we're going to be making today. Let's put our living stereo stylus in this groove. <laughs> First, let's look at the camera settings, and these are very basic, so I'm going to try and cover them in the next 30 seconds, and go. For ISO, leave it as low as possible. That's it. The higher your ISO, the more noise you get. Aperture for B-roll, leave this wide open. Anywhere between f1.7 and f2.8 should be the sweet spot. The lower the number, the shallower your depth of field, but the higher the level of light you let in. The higher the number, the deeper your depth of field is, and you're getting a lot less light. Next, you need to set your shutter speed. You might have to leave this high to compensate for your wide open aperture. Or you can put on an ND filter to keep it lower. An ND filter is basically sunglasses for your camera. The ideal place for your shutter speed is twice that of your frame rate. This creates a realistic amount of motion blur. Okay, so that's the bulks of the settings out of the way. Finally, you need to choose your frame rate. For B-roll, it's often best to keep this at either 60fps or 120fps so you can get some nice slow motion. I'm shooting in 60fps in 1080p HD. Anyway, let's move on to actually shooting. Alright, so there are three main types of shots you need to know when shooting B-roll. Wide shots, medium shots, and close-ups. It's best to try and get all three for each location or each shot if possible, etc. It makes it way easier when editing to piece together a conclusive piece. For instance, last week I had this in a video. And as you can see, there are only like three angles in the whole sequence, but it still looks pretty good, and that's because I got enough coverage from the first angle, and you know, it was slow motion. Along with the different types of coverage, there are a few types of camera movement you're going to need to know to shoot b-roll. This is a tracking shot. These are some of my favorite shots to have when filming b-roll. They really help show the person you're filming in the location and give a sense of scale to your shots. This is a slider shot. Now, I'm not actually using a slider for most of my b-roll shots like this, I'm doing it all handheld but that's besides the point. Another shot I often do is this rotating shot, I don't really know what it's called. This can be achieved by sitting the camera in a circle while pointing straight up. It helps highlight your skyline. Anyway, I'm not going to go into every type of shot right now, these are just a few key ones. And I know I've said this in a previous video, but add movement to your shots whenever possible. It really helps make them feel more dynamic and more interesting. Anyway, let's move on to editing b-roll. Okay, so today I want to walk you through my entire process for editing b-roll sequence. And as you can see, I've already got Premiere open. And I've covered most of what I'm doing today in previous videos, so I'll be brief. So I started off by converting all of my footage to 23.976 and turning it into slow motion. Then I went through for each clip and trimmed up the in and out points. And then I really got started editing. I dragged on each clip in the order I wanted them to appear and cut them at certain points to the beat of the music. Then I added any transitions I wanted to add, a color grade, a letterbox, sound effects, and boom, you've got a b-roll sequence. It's really that easy. Here it is. Let's put our living stereo stylus in this groove. <laughs> But that's all I've got for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Anyway, this has been Echo Productions. I'm Silas Willby, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.